This is a painting by Michal Meron that inspires me every time I think about Genesis Bereshit. It is of the six days of creation and what an amazing opportunity we have this week to do activities, creative, draw, paint, create, either one day or all six days of creation. Get out those paints and crayons and textures and collages. Be creative and create each day as you imagine it to be. Let's look at this painting and see what you see on it. On the first day, God created heaven and earth with night and day. On the second day, he separated the waters and made the sea and the sky. Day three, he created the land, plants and trees. On the fourth day, Hashem created the moon, stars and sun. Day five was the fish and the birds. And day six was the creation of animals and man. And he wasn't finished on the sixth day. And yet the Torah says that God only completed his work on the seventh day. When he also created rest, manucha. Rashi, one of our great sages, explains that the world had everything in it except Manucha, rest. So Hashem created Manucha because in order to live in this busy world, we need our Manucha, our spiritual and physical rest, our precious day, Shabbat, with our extra Neshama. So this week, bring in your Manucha, rest with a special feeling and understand that Hashem created so much in the world and yet he knew that rest is such an important part of our work week. That time to stop what we're doing, rest, relax, breathe, reflect, regroup, and connect to ourselves and to our God on this special day. Shabbat is our gift. Not doing is actually doing. And that is the message Hashem's giving us. Read further in the Pasha for food ideas. A quick and easy one this week is to look at the story of Adam and Chava and the tree of knowledge with the fruit on. There are many opinions about what the actual fruit was. Was it an apple or an etrog? Who knows? For our edible food this week, let's imagine it was an apple. Either serve something with apples or make a fruit tree out of fruit like there was in Gun Aden. Or take an apple and make it into a tempting, yummy kind of healthy dessert. You'll need apple ske apples, skewers, melted chocolate, sprinkles. Pour the melted chocolate around the apple, leave it in the fridge. Then stick it or roll it in sprinkles, serve for dessert. And choose to eat it or not. What a choice. If you were Adam and it looked so yummy, would you eat it even if you were told not to? Lots to think about. Shabbat Shalom from Safta Leah.